Welcome to Sinya's Macro Updates. Today, we'll be highlighting the new features that have been added after the last macro showcase. Let's begin with the new monitoring option added to all Mighty Omega macros. This feature allows you to receive reports on your Discord based on the image option and time interval you select. For example, if you choose Fatigue for the image report, it will send a screenshot of your fatigue. Alternatively, selecting Screen will send a screenshot of the entire Roblox screen. If you input 5 as the time interval, this report will be sent every 5 minutes. Moving on, let's explore the new Strike Power features. First up is the Advanced SP Calculator, designed specifically for high stat players. In the game, fatigue is displayed rounded to two decimal points, which can hide small gains. For example, if you gain 0.0071 fatigue, the game will display it as 0.01. To address this issue, we've developed the Advanced SP Calculator. To use it, you must have already used the monitoring function in the past, as it's needed for the calculator inputs. Here's how it works. Input the starting fatigue shown in the report into the calculator, then find the next interval report and input its captured fatigue into the ending fatigue box. Then copy the repeated amount onto the calculator. Finally, you can press calculate and the macro will show you your exact fatigue gain, allowing you to input it accurately into the fatigue counter. Next, Let's discuss the last two new features added to the Strike Power Macro option, the Custom Punch Speed and the option to use the Counter Skill to drain stamina. But we'll skip ahead to the Punch Speed Showcase, as the Counter Skill option is straightforward. If you have it checked, the macro will use the skill you've assigned to slot 2 to drain stamina before running to save time. However, we recommend using a weave with high stamina usage for optimal results. Now we will explain how to use the new custom punch speed function. Start by pressing the adjust button, and the macro will have you input the delay between each M1 combos. The higher your SS stat, the lower the delay you will input. Let's start with 1500, which is for very low strike speed stat. Also remember to put on your limb weight first if you plan to macro with it. The macro was able to perform 4 M1 combo, but there was too much delay between them, so let's go lower. That was a bit faster, but I think we can go lower because we have over 1k strike speed stat. As you can see, we missed the last M1. That means 700 was too low, let's increase it to 800 instead. Perfect! We can now move on to the next input, which is the delay between your M1 combo and your M2. We know 800 is too slow for our 1k strike speed stat, let's start with 600. We were able to only do 1M2 because 600 was too slow. Let's go lower. Okay, so we did 2M2, but I think we can still go faster. Let's try and see if we can go faster than this. Looks like 0 was too fast, so we skipped 1 and 2. Let's increase it a bit to 50. Awesome! Now that we finished both delay input, we can press the test button to recheck if those input were optimal. 
It's a good idea to do this test every time you're about to macro. Nice! We were able to land all M1 and M2 in our test. Now let's compare our optimal speed to the default spamming click speed. We start off at similar speed, but then the default side is starting to miss M2. And because it's doing M2 randomly, it will interrupt the M1 combo flow. Unlike the optimal side, where it does M2 after every two M1 combos. Moving on to the last feature that was added, the two-side Dura Fatigue counter. If you choose to log at 65% or 85% fatigue and have set the macro to Dura both sides, a box will appear for you to input their gains. This allows the macro to stop when one side reaches the chosen fatigue level and continue on the other side until it also reaches the chosen fatigue. Then, the macro will log off both accounts. That concludes our showcase for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and see you next time.